Hey guys and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be talking all about prints and how you can use prints in creating outfits. I'm going to do this by talking about print aesthetics, color and scale of prints, as well as mixing prints. So if that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. So let's jump into print aesthetics first. You're probably thinking, what the heck is a print aesthetic? And so first I want to talk about regular aesthetics and then we can look at aesthetics in regards to prints specifically. The word aesthetic generally means the feeling behind the appearance. For example, if a piece of clothing has menswear details such as a collar, cuffs, maybe like an epaulette, sort of those masculine details, tailoring, that sort of thing, then you might say that that piece of clothing has a menswear aesthetic. So in regards to print, it's a similar meaning. So it's, a, the it's part of the design or the print motif that has that aesthetic. For example, a plaid might have a preppy aesthetic because sometimes we associate plaids with a preppy style. Another example is a print we probably all know and love, and that's polka dots. That can either have a classic or a vintage aesthetic based on color and scale, which we'll talk about later. You can use the aesthetic from your personal style to choose prints that fit into it. Let's say you consider yourself to have a classic style. You might want to stick to classic prints like stripes and polka dots as, and stay away from things that are more abstract or bold or modern or things that wouldn't exactly fit in with the other pieces in your wardrobe. Another example is if you consider yourself to have bohemian style. Prints that have intricate motifs and more natural kind of flowing shapes might fit in better with your wardrobe than a polka dot or a houndstooth because those are very graphic prints. And this isn't a hard and fast rule. I mean, if you like a print and you want to add it to your wardrobe, go for it. This is for people who want to add prints to their wardrobe, but they're not exactly sure how or which prints to add. In this case, I would definitely look at your personal style and then choose a print that you think will work back to the pieces you already have in your wardrobe. If you have a very classic style, you might, you'll probably be drawn to classic prints and same with any other sort of style aesthetic. Okay, next we're going to talk about scale and color of prints. A print scale can completely change the way a print looks on a garment. One example is these two floral dresses. One is a super small scale and the other one is a bigger scale. And as you can see, they have two completely different looks. One thing to keep in mind in regards to scale is a bigger print is always going to look more bold, even if it's in a black and white or neutral color tone. Just there's something about the larger scale and the coverage on the body that makes it look just more bold. It's going to grab attention. In contrast, a ditzy or super small print can sometimes look like it's not even a print. So sometimes you can almost treat it like a solid because it just looks like like little dots, like a, a, a no print print, if you will. So from far away, it just kind of looks like it has a texture to it as opposed to a small floral. An example of this is this ASOS dress. From far away, you can't even tell what it is, but then you look up closer and you can see it's a small floral. The color of the print also makes a huge difference on whether or not a print will work for your outfit or not. And if you want to learn more about color, make sure you check out my last video from this series where I go into depth about mixing colors, the color wheel, color theory, and all that good stuff uh, in regards to your outfit. I will link that video down below. In regards to choosing a colored print, the first thing you want to look at is the ground color. The ground color is the color that's used in most of the print. The example here, the ground color is black. So as you can see, it's taking up most of the, the body with just hits of other colors. In some cases, prints will have two or more colors that take up equal space in the print. So in that case, you can easily just pull out your favorite color from that print and use that to work back to other pieces in your wardrobe. Now that we've talked about aesthetic, color, and print scale, now we can talk about mixing prints. A rule you'll hear a lot when it comes to mixing prints is the rule where you should kind of make sure that when you're mixing two prints they kind of share a color. And I think this is a great rule. I feel like if you are 
really first starting out and you've not even experimented with mixing prints, this is a great way to start. I always mix black branded prints because I think it just looks really graphic and cool. And so if, if you wanna kind of start out, that's a great place to start. Another rule that you hear a lot when it comes to mixing prints is to make sure that the two prints that you're mixing have two different scales. And this is another one that I really agree with, especially if you're first starting out. You can kind of play with all of these rules and kind of see what fits your personal style. But I feel like it's easier to kind of see what works together if the prints are two different scales. Just make sure they're relatively different. If you get two kind of medium scale prints, it can easily look very busy. Another rule that I have personally when mixing prints is, it's not really a rule, it's just something fun that I like to do actually. <laughs> so rule, just a fun thing to try. I don't know what else to call it is to mix two prints that have a similar print aesthetic. And what does this mean? So sometimes when I wear kind of polished, sleek outfits, I will mix two kind of modern, basic, classic prints together. So I like to mix my dots and my stripes. I think that's a really easy, fun combination. And also if I am wearing something that's a little more feminine, I have like a feminine blouse and maybe like a flowy top or a, flow, or a flowy bottom or a flowy skirt, then I'll mix two floral prints because why not? It's just fun. So those are just some ideas for you guys to take into your own wardrobe and try out on your own. So that is everything I have to say about prints. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys have any other tips about mixing prints or what your go-to print is. I would love to find out, so let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't wanna miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.